Greetings everyone! Welcome to the 31st episode of Freeway to Financial Freedom. My name is Chen Ying Yu, the host of the show. And for those of you who have been waiting uh, for this show for some time after the break, I just want to say welcome back. And for those of you who have seen the show before, you know what this is about. And for those of you who have never seen the show or are here for the first time, don't worry about time right now. This show is going to change the way you think about finance. And by watching this show, it will help you become financially affluent in life. How is it possible? To show you how to so, sew, here's the story. Cash flow is the story of how an average person overcomes obstacles and limitations to escape the rat race and take charge of their financial future. It all began when our wide-eyed hero graduated college, got a job, accumulated debt, and found himself stuck firmly in the middle of the same rat race he swore he would avoid when he used to dream big. How would he ever find his way out? It's ready, rat! To the rescue! rescue, rescue, rescue. It's time for you to escape this rat race! Let me show you the way out! With that, our hero learned how to change his thinking about money and investing, understand risk and grow his passive income, providing him with the financial freedom to get out of the rat race that was making him live from hand to mouth with little chance that anything would change. Finally, our hero escapes the rat race and goes down a road of his very own where all of his dreams come true. The end. Freeway to Financial Freedom is sponsored by Income and Product Emporium. Fly high with financial and technological freedom. And CYY Mall. Great savings come from shoppers like you. And now back to the show. All right, let's see here. My occupation is chef and my dream, ancient Asian cities. Okay, I'll still choose that. And I'm still waiting for um, a potential challenger since this will take some time to um, to actually appear. Ah, here it is. We have a challenger named Frank and his dream be a jet setter. And since he's ready uh, and I'm also ready, let's just start the game. And it's my turn. One, and that's a paycheck. So, nothing un unusual. Now it's Frank's turn. And again, he rolled one and he just takes a paycheck as well, so... Nothing has happened for now. And now it's my turn. And let me see if I can roll a six or five. Three, okay, so that's an opportunity. Let's see what I have here. Take a small deal. Yeah, the one of stock, thirty dollars per, per per share. I, I'm gonna skip that. Now it's Frank's turn. And let's see, he landed on do that. Spend eighty dollars for an expensive dinner. Now it's my turn. Oh, one. Now I landed on do that. Let's hope it's not a big one. The air show pay one hundred twenty dollars while I'm paying cash. So hopefully I can stay away from that. Let's see. It's Frank's turn, and he landed on opportunity. Let's see what I have. What he has here. Limited partner wanted. Non-franchise sandwich shop doubling the number of locations, and let's see, he passed that opportunity. Well, he could have gotten that. Now it's my turn. See if I can get to charity. 
five. Okay, so that's opportunity. Take a small deal. MYT for you electronics, five dollars per share. Hmm, high inflation leads to poor share price for the home electronics sellers. Only you may buy this. I don't know. Taking out loans and borrowing money seems kind of dangerous. Borrowing money isn't dangerous. It's what you do with the money that is dangerous. Always remember there is good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you rich and bad debt makes you poor. Unfortunately, most people invest in bad debt and that's why they're poor. Only you may buy as many shares as you want of this price and everyone may sell this price. Five dollars per share. You know that's a really worth a try. So let's try that. Two hundred shares. So that's a thousand dollars. So I'll buy that. And number option that's uh, gonna be asset. So it's a cost per option. And I still have one thousand three hundred ninety dollars on hand. Okay, now it's Frank's turn. And let's see. He landed on market, but of course he has no properties with him. So. Doesn't apply to him. And now it's my turn. For an opportunity, hopefully it's a property, a cheap one I say. Small deal. Okay for you drugs, $30 per share. Well, I'm gonna pass that because it's too expensive. Now it's Frank's turn. And let's see, he landed on opportunity and let's see what he has. Right now, eight plex for sale. Whoa! Cost of 200,000. And the down payment of 40,000. And he passed the opportunity. Now it's my turn. One and oh, a child. Uh oh. Congratulations. To me, and now adding $140 to my child expense, so now my cash flow is reduced. This will be expense, and why do you say investing is a risky? Well, there's always risk when you invest, but it doesn't mean you have to be risky. You don't have to be a risky investor. When you drive your car, there's risk, right? Yeah, but you don't have to be a risky driver. If you take a few lessons, practice, take it slow, you'll be a very good investor. There's always risk. But you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. So now my cash flow is reduced to 740, and Frank just uh, landed an opportunity and he passed it. Now it's my turn. Two, and that's a paycheck of 740. Now it's Frank's turn. And now he has a baby, his first child, now adding $480 to his child expense. Now it's my turn. One opportunity, hopefully a property. Mutual fund, grow for us fund, $40. Well, that's too high, so I'll pass that. And now it's Frank's turn and he landed an opportunity and let's see what he has. Hopefully he can get to a small deal. House for sale. Now he got into a big deal again. Wow. And he passed on that opportunity. Now it's my turn. Six. That's great. So let's see. It's opportunity. And let me take a small deal again. NYT for you electronics. Today's price $40. Booming markets leads to record sales share at the of this home electronic seller. Only you may buy as many shares as you want. It's priced what every- What is the first question I should ask my stockbroker? Well, the first question I'd ask is, do you invest in stocks? Statistics show that most stockbrokers don't invest in stocks. The same is true with most real estate brokers. They don't invest in real estate. You see, most brokers are not investors. The reason they're called brokers is because they're broker than you are. Only you may buy as many shares as you want at this, at this price. Everyone may sell this price. Forty dollars. Okay, so, for so now my sh my ass my um investment asset uh, in stock is now worth eight thousand dollars. So if I sell it, that's a net increase of seven thousand. 
Wow, I'm gonna sell all of them right now. So I removed the MIT for you stock, and now I have 10,130 on hand. Hoo hoo! Lovely! Now it's Frank's turn. And he landed on opportunity. Let's see what he has. Four Plex for sale. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. And he passed that opportunity. And now it's my turn. Three, and that's a market, but of course I don't have a property with me, so I can't do anything about it. Now it's Frank's turn. Yeah. And let's see, he landed on opportunity. See what happened. Automated business for sale. Oh. Hmm. And he passed the opportunity. Well, I could have gotten that, but I still don't have enough money for this. Okay, now it's my turn. My stockbroker says that investing in real estate is risky. What else would you expect a stockbroker to say about real estate? Why don't you ask a real estate broker what he thinks about stocks? I wouldn't do that because he doesn't handle stock. Oh! You find a great deal. Older three bedroom, two bathroom house repossessed by government agency. Ready to go with government financing with a tenant. Borrow from the bank if you must, but buy this. 132% uh, return of investment may sell for 65 to 135,000. So cost of cost is 35,000, mortgage of 33,000, down payment of 2,000, and cash flow of 220. Hey, impressive. Let's buy that. Nicely done. So down payment, that'll be um, asset. So it's the cost, mortgage, that's the liability, and of course cash flow is income, and now I have the cash flow of 960. Lovely. Now it's Frank's turn. And he took home a paycheck of 2,570. Okay, now it's my turn. Four. Again. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I could take a, a big deal this time. Duplex for sale. Tenants in place at... Inv at this investment duplex, owner has income tax problem, needs to sell quickly, uses for itself or sell to the player 48% or I may sell for 50,000 to 80,000, cost of 45,000, mortgage of 37,000, down payment of 8,000, and cash flow of 220. Hmm. You know what? That's a worthy investment. Let's try that. Good job. Thanks. And now this will be asset for down payment, so it's a cost and mortgage as a liability, and of course cash flow is income. And now I have cash flow of 1,280, 80, 1,280. Yes, lovely. Now it's Frank's turn, and he landed an opportunity. And let's see what he has right now. House for sale, three two, three bedroom, two bathroom house on a golf course, and. He paid seven thousand for a house worth of seventy-five thousand and added cash flow of three hundred. Okay, now it's my turn. Six. Okay, keep it going. Lovely. Now, small deal. Okay, for you, drug market panic causes crash in the shares of this longtime white girl of medicines. Only you may buy it at as many shares as you want at this price. Everyone may sell this price. Today's price is one dollar. Woo, yeah. So, um, you know what? That's really worth the trade. Let me buy two thousand shares. So it's value of two thousand. I'll buy that, and of course, this will be asset. All right. So now I have one thousand one hundred and ten on hand. Okay. So now it's Frank's turn. And he landed on market. Let's see what happened. Condo buy a two bedroom, one bathroom. Okay, well I don't have that, so it doesn't apply to me. 
and or and of course he doesn't have that either, so that's apply to him as well. Now it's my turn. Let's see. I'm gonna let's see if I can roll an even number. Ah, uh, odd number. Uh oh, what happened? Downsize. Be careful with real estate. Tenants could damage your property. That's correct, but that's what you have insurance for. And don't worry so much about the tenants or what they could do. You need to focus on those rent checks coming in every month. If you have good property managers, they'll take care of that problem for you. Dear sir or madam, we regret to inform you that your job position has been affected by our new corporate restructuring. You must pay your expenses minus your passive income and you'll lose three turns. Thank you for your hard work and we wish you the best in your future endeavors. Sincerely, The Big Cheese, your boss at Big Bad Business Company. Well, fortunately, I have the um, residual income or what I call passive income, so that's fine. But let's see how much is it affected. Oh, I need to borrow a thousand dollars. Wow. Okay, fine. I'm going to borrow that money right now. So this will be a liability for loan and payment, loan amount, and bank payment that will be expense. So cash flow is reduced to 1180 but that's not bad. Okay, now it's my turn. No, oh, actually, it's Frank's turn. And let's see what happened. He landed on opportunity, and let's see. Um, duplex for sale. Uh, let's see what's this, his decision. He passed the opportunity. Now it's my turn, but of course I'm downsized, so I just lost three turns. I trade. So I still have like, I still have like two more. I still have to go through one more turn. And let's see, it's Frank's turn, and he he has his second child. Now adding more expenses. Um, to his overall expense. And now it's my turn, but again, I just this is um my last turn in Mutual G downsize. Funds are good safe investments. Mutual funds aren't safe. Many only work if the stock market is going up. When the stock market drops, many mutual funds lose their value faster than other investments. Let's see here, and it's Frank's turn and the stock is NYT for you electronics thirty dollars per share, and he passed the opportunity. Okay, that was a, that was a wise choice for him. And it should be my turn. Six. Let's see what I have. A doodad. And uh, what's rumor of layoff? Go back to school for added skill. Pay for tuition and books a thousand two hundred. Well, I have I can do that in cash, so that's fine. Now it's Frank's turn. And he landed on market. Let's see what happened. Widget company buyer. Well, I, both of us don't have a widget company, so it doesn't apply to us. And it should be my turn. Yep. Hope I can get an odd number. One, okay, good. So let me see if I can get to a small deal. House for sale, three bedroom, one bathroom. Not lived in for six months. This bank for closed house just reduced. Loan includes estimated repair costs. Uses for sale for sale to the players. Unknown return of investment may sell for sixty-five to one hundred thirty-five thousand. Cost of fifty thousand. Mortgage of fifty thousand. No down payment, but cash flow of one hundred. So yeah, let's buy that. This is a great deal. Good job. So I don't need to say that because I know what to do. Now cash flow is increased to back to a thousand two hundred eighty. All right. So now it's Frank's turn. My real estate broker says property will go up in value. What do you think? Well, ask your real estate broker if they have a crystal ball. Always remember that your profit is made when you buy, not when you sell. But I'm spending money and buying. So how does that work? Making a profit when I'm spending money? Do you hope the investment will go up in value? Well, yeah. That's why I'm spending money, I think. Well, you should never expect the price of anything to go up in order to make a profit. A piece of real estate needs to be profitable when you buy it. It's the same as a stock needs to pay a dividend when you buy it. Never expect a thing to go up in value. That's gambling. 
Okay, so there's a stock okay for you drug. Low inflation leads to high share price for this long term, long time maker of medicine. Only you may buy as many shares as you want as you want at this price. Everyone may sell this price. Today's price forty dollars. Yeah. So, so now my asset in asset in stock is now worth my gosh eighty thousand compared to two thousand when I bought it. So that's a profit of seventy eight thousand. Yeah. So I'll sell all of them right now. So now we're moving this. Now I have 80,870. Yeah. Lovely. And now it's my turn. Okay. Um, and then let me see if I could re um, make a loan. Make repay my loans here. Yeah, the one that's a credit bank loan. That's 1,000. Hmm. I can get rid of the home. Let me see. Let's get rid of credit card, car loan, retail debt for now. I don't know. Taking out loans and borrowing money seems kind of dangerous. Borrowing money isn't dangerous. It's what you do with the money that's dangerous. Always remember there is good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you rich and bad debt makes you poor. Unfortunately, most people invest in bad debt and that's why they're poor. You are offered sixty-five thousand for three two-house rental. Hmm. Yeah, you know that's not high enough. So <sighs> let's up pass for now. And now it's Frank's turn. And now he landed on market again. And let's see what happened. Inflation rates drop. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, that be, that applies to Frank, so I don't need to worry about that. Now it's my turn. Two, I do that, and let's see what happened. Play your lucky lottery number. Lose a hundred dollars. I'm paying cash. And let's see, it's Frank's turn and he landed on opportunity. Condo for sale, two bedroom, one bathroom, and let's see what's his decision. He paid $4,000 for a condo. Hmm. Adding a cash flow of 140. Now it's my turn. Hope I can get the opportunity. Four. Oh, that's a paycheck. Nothing unusual. Now it's Frank's turn. Whoa, and he, why do you say investing is a risky? Well, there's always risk when you invest, but it doesn't mean you have to be risky. You don't have to be a risky investor. When you drive your car, there's risk, right? Y yeah, but... You don't have to be a risky driver. If you take a few lessons, practice, take it slow, you'll be a very good investor. There's always risk. But you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. Now Frank just got a paycheck and now I'm downsized for a second time and thankfully I have plenty of cash on hand. Plus I have a large cash flow so that's fine. No big deal. And now it's Frank's turn. And he landed an opportunity and let's see what he was his, his decision. He passed the opportunity. Now it's my turn. And of course I'm downsized so have to wait for I say just like one more turn. starting a company part-time hmm this and he Frank passed the opportunity now of course I'm downsized right now so still have like one more turn actually I'm just like And 
and let's see, Frank is in um, a small deal opportunity stock MIT for you to try this, and he paid $780 for his 26 shares of MIT what for you. What is the first question I should ask my stockbroker? Well, the first question I'd ask is, do you invest in stocks? Statistics show that most stockbrokers don't invest in stocks. The same is true with most real estate brokers. They don't invest in real estate. You see, most brokers are not investors. The reason they're called brokers is because they're broker than you are. Okay, so now I landed on the small deal opportunity and I passed that because that's, there's nothing you can do about the mutual fund. The price is too high. Now it's Frank's turn. And now he has his third child. Now it's my turn. Hopefully an even number. One, do that. Okay, so let's see how much I do. Buy new clothes, pay $250, pay cash. Okay, now it's Frank's turn. And he landed on opportunity. And let's see, on to entertainment stock. $10 per share. And what's his decision? He paid $610 for 61 shares of on to you. Now it's my turn. One opportunity, and let me see if I could get to. Let me see if I can take a big deal. Automated business for sale. Successful four bay coin operated auto wash near base busy intersection. Seller is moving to retirement community out of state. Uses for yourself or selling to player. Use 86% RI. No other buyer in sight. So. Yeah, cost of 125,000, mortgage of 100,000, down payment of 25,000, and cash flow of 1,800. Stockbroker says that investing in real estate is risky. What else would you expect a stockbroker to say about real estate? Why don't you ask a real estate broker what he thinks about stocks? I wouldn't do that because he doesn't handle stock. Oh! In cash flow is 1,800. Yeah, so if I add that, that's more than the total income. Great, I'll buy it. Good job. And no need to say, I know what to do. This is really quick, I love that. And now I have the cash flow of 3,370. And of course, cash on hand, 51,300, so. Whoa, impressive, I love that. And Frank, it's Frank's turn and he took him a paycheck of 1350 And now it's my turn and let's see what happened. Congratulations. Nicely done. Congratulations, you've reached the fast track. You've proved your financial intelligence. Your rat race investment have prospered. You've reinvest your returns for outstanding investment success. You've successfully increased your passive income a hundred times. Yeah! Now it's my turn for what I call a fast track. Now let's roll three and let's see what happened. Cookware infomercial. Let's see here. The cash flow um, day income is now 244000 Cash on hand is 244000 and cash flow day go is 294000 So I need 50000 more. Let's see. Cookware infomercial, 50000 monthly cash flow if you roll four or higher on one die. Otherwise, you get nothing. Careful with real estate. Tenants could damage your property. That's correct, but that's what you have insurance for. And don't worry so much about the tenants or what they could do. You need to focus on those rent checks coming in every month. If you have good property managers, they'll take care of that problem for you. So cash flow is 50,000. You know what? It's a 50-50 chance, but let's try it. Because I may, if I do, if I do get, get, that, um, get that contract, then yeah, I can actually end the game right now. So let's roll. Yeah, the drum's beating. I'm getting really intense here. Six, yeah. Congratulations, you won the game and achieved your dream goal. Final score, I have 120 and Frank, zero. 
Yay! This was this is really quick. I mean, I'm impressed by how how fast I could actually get into the the what I call financial freedom after going through this long freeway. Yep. So now you know what it means to be in the freeway to financial freedom by applying these concepts from this show into your daily life. You can overcome financial obstacles and avoid financial pitfalls while creating new sources of wealth through wise financial decisions so you can be in a state of affluence and prosperity for the rest of your life and for future generations. All right, that's it for this episode of the show. And remember, knowledge is your golden ticket to affluence. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.